Hey guys, I just wanted to quickly jump on here and spend just a couple of minutes with you, talking with you, just before you go on to listen to today's Simple Monday Reflections. But basically what I want to say is, um, I'm going to be covering topics that are dear to my heart, and um, I've thought about these things, or, that they've gone around in my head, and I've come to my own understanding. But it's important to realise that, don't take what I say as the truth. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm sharing with you my truths. I'm not here to convince you, uh, to persuade you, or try to make you see my point of view. That's not what the goal is. The goal is to really to stimulate your brain, to get your mind thinking about the same issues that I'm discussing. I'm sharing with you what's good for me and what works well for me. But get your brain thinking and around these issues and finding out what works for you around these issues because I'm talking about issues that we kind of neglect in life which life is full of so much distractions we doing this and doing that and we forget about the things that bring us the, the essence of life things us that bring us richness fulfillment purpose and these are the type of issues if you start to understand what is your truth around these issues that you're going to find your life much more rich rich and fulfilling for you because you're understanding your existence and why you're here so guys like i said you know it's not about trying to make you see my point of view or trying to convince you or yours is wrong no it's about stimulating your brain getting yourself to start thinking about these type of issues and what works well for you because when you start to do that then life start when things happen in life they start you start realizing that life starts uh, working for you and life happens for you not to you yeah because otherwise life starts happening when things happen it's why me and this happens to you you're just always on the reactive but when you're living your life in a purpose purposeful way then life happens for you you make it happen for you so on that note no further no further delay i hope you enjoy today's simple monday reflections guys stay blessed stay grateful Hi guys, it's me Charles Francis from Ground Level Coaching. Uh, welcome to another edition of my SMR Simple Monday Reflections. And today guys, I just want to spend some time telling, talking to you about the story we tell ourselves. Now, when I first started entering into the personal development world, uh, everyone used to tell me about your story. Let's talk about, oh, do you need to change your story, Charles, or what story are you telling yourself? And, and I used to think, what are you talking about story, story? So, a lot of people know what it is when we talk about our story and there's a lot of people who say they're not into the personal development world and that's fine but my concept to them is um, if you take away the word personal development and we look at it as, a, as in personal growth then you know we all want to grow we all want to improve whether it be on our health or finances or career or relationships we all want some level of improvement and that's all personal development it is is this personal growth trying to find a growth in that area of your life so it kind of really affects all of us so anyway so when they kept telling me about this story story i realized that there's a strong element to this idea of the story that we tell ourselves but not many people knew what it, what it was or what it, how to explain it so what is what is it that they talk about when they say our story well here, here's a little uh, a way I'd like to uh, explain it to you. You see, when we're young and we're growing up, and uh, do you remember when your parent or someone used to ask you, what do you want to be when you grow up? And for me, it was a pilot. When they asked me what you want to be when you grow up, when I was a little toddler, I'd say a pilot. And um, anytime I was watching television and I see a person flying a plane, I would envision myself flying that plane. All my toys would be around planes. And I was adamant. And that was what I was going to be, a pilot. And then as time passed on, I went to primary school, homework got introduced to my life. It meant so I couldn't play as much. So now it wasn't so much fun. You know, school, primary school wasn't so much fun. I was playing. And then my parents used to always remind you, mind me, read your book, Charlie, read your book, Charlie. You're not going to get anywhere in life unless you read your book. So then I started thinking to myself, you know what? I'm not going to become a pilot if I don't read my book, but I don't enjoy reading my book. So oh, maybe I should drop that vision or drop that dream of being a pilot. And then I got introduced to friends and new different excitements and different things. And somewhere along the line, my vision of being a pilot just dropped. And then... I either didn't create a new vision at one point, you know, I was struggling just growing up, just dealing with life and things that were getting thrown at me. So I, I wasn't even thinking about a vision anyway. And then life just took its toll. And then sometimes I went through another phase where I started, okay, I wanted to be a singer. I wanted to be a musician or I wanted to be this and that. And we all go through these stages in life. We all go through these different things of things we want to be in life. And, you know, and then we lose that dream, we drop that one. But here's the deal, guys. 
when you drop a dream or a vision, it's not the dropping that matters so much. It's what it is, is that there's certain things in play that have made you drop that dream. Certain things that you've heard, people have told you, and you've said to yourself that has built up this thing of you not believing you can achieve it, or you not thinking you're not good enough, or you not uh, uh, think, thinking you have what it takes to, to accomplish it, so you drop it. But these things, these it's these elements that they stay with you, and they create a story that you go on to tell in your next endeavor. So. So sometimes we have stories of lack or stories of unself-worth or stories that we, we're not worthy enough or we, we don't think we can make it. And we carry these stories into the next visions that we have in life. So, you know, oh, we don't think we can do this now. Or we start off all great and we start off heading in the momentum and everything. And then when we hit a stumbling block, that old, vision, that old story comes back. And we start to think back that old story and then we start to believe it. And the reason is because when we had that story, it was told again and again and reinforced again and again that we started to believe it. We started buying into that story that wasn't true and we started to believe it. And then when the new story comes, you know, it's a new adventure, everything's new, we've, 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 we think we're on fire, we've got it. You hit a stumbling block and then the old stories come back to mind and we start believing in these old stories and then we self-sabotage any new thing we want to do. So guys, the reason why we have to emphasize on this story we tell each other ourselves is because we're all telling ourselves stories. We're all buying into stories that are not necessarily um, beneficial to us. See, your story can either spur you on to do magnificent things or it can hold you back from living at your true potential. Because you tell yourself these stories so much that you, you then believe in them. Now, the story isn't true. The event is true. The event that happened to create that story is true, yes. But the meaning you gave to that event is what created the story that you started telling yourself. Whether it's someone told you something, whether you saw something, whether you experienced something, it's the meaning that you gave it to it that has created the story that you tell yourself now. And it's the story that you tell yourself now. If it's empowering, energizing, uplifting, that's fantastic. But more, out of 10, more likely, most likely, most story that people tell themselves tends to be, you know, uh, negative, pulling them back, holding them back from achieving the things they want in life. And there's a reason behind this. It doesn't just come just like that. There's a reason behind this. I'll tell you what the reason is. It's because, as Les Brown says, he says, the natural pull of life is downwards. Hear me now. The reason why we say this is because, you know, <laughs> we've created a life that is around comforts and conveniences. We want fast things. We want instant gratification. We don't want to put in work. We don't want to uh, appreciate the finer things in life, you know. We want the comforts and the conveniences quickly. You know, we forgot about the beautifulness, the natureness, the smells, the, you know, the beautiful scenery. We forgot about these things. And the world now, as we've created it, is governed by comforts and conveniences. And because of that, it means that the natural pull is downwards because these things you have to seek. They don't come naturally. They see you, you have to you have to try to force them, you know. And if you don't force them, you get left behind. So the natural pull is kind of going down. And unless, unless you consciously, uh, consciously uplift yourself or consciously combat that natural pull of downwards, then you're just going to find yourself either stagnating, going on a level. But if you're stagnating, that means you're going down because everything is progressing. So there is no middle line, there's either up or down, there's no in between. You're either climbing or you're sliding. So this stagnation that you're doing, it means you're sliding slowly, yeah? And that's the natural pull. So unless you consciously do something to change that momentum and that flow, then, then you're, you're gonna fall into it. You're gonna fall into what I call the default mode, default mode. And the default mode really, in terms of your story, tends to be things that have happened to you in the past, traumatic or, uneventful events that have happened to you in the past that have had such an impact on you that you know you found it difficult to, to move on from and this is the default mode this is what the story you're going to end up going to buy back into if you don't create yourself a new story and first and foremost if you're not aware of the story that you're currently telling yourself because if you just go through life without being aware of the stories that you tell yourself when new opportunities come your way or new visions and new dreams come your way, you're going to self-sabotage them because you're falling into default mode of the story that was you used to believe into. You don't have a story now that you want to believe, so you just fall into the one that you used to believe. And it's tend to be one that holds you back. 
it tends to be one that um, you struggle to get over, so you remember it more. So that's why it's important now to recognize the story that you're telling yourself. When you want to achieve something new, or there's, an, there's, there's something that you want to embrace new in your life, just be aware of what story am I telling myself right this moment about this thing? What stories am I believing? And if you find yourself catching yourself remembering an old story or a story that is not empowering or is not, is not spurging you on to go and achieve that thing you want to do, if you find yourself hitting a story like that, just remember that's an old story. That's not true. That was the meaning that you gave it then. You can create, and just like you created that story, you can create yourself a new story today in whatever it is you want to achieve. Think about what story do I need to create? that is in line with the vision or the goal or the thing that I want to achieve. And now people talk about goals and they think that your goals have to be very big goals or elite goals or, you know, my goal has to be to climb Mount Everest or my goal has to be own a seven figure business. Listen, your goal is your goal. All it is is something that you want to achieve. It doesn't matter, big, small, progress is progress. As long as you're making progress, you're in the game. You know, it's when you stop making progress, that's when you're no longer in the game and you start sliding down. It doesn't matter how big incremental your progress steps are, as long as you're making progress in your life, you will feel happy, you will feel uplifted, you will feel like you're growing because you're making progress. So that's all a goal and a vision is, is having some form of progress, just some form of aim or something that I want to achieve, small or big. And when you see yourself, you want to achieve that something, think to yourself, what story do I need to believe to achieve this? What is the story that I need to believe? You know, and it's important to say that because when you think about what story I need to believe, then you can start to live that story. You can start to become that story. And you can, t just like you kept telling yourself the old story so much and you started to believe in it, now you're going to start telling yourself the new story so much that you're going to start to believe in it. And then you're going to live this new story. And then the story that you tell yourself starts to come aligned with the vision that you want to create for your life. And the vision, like I said, it doesn't have to be out there so far. A vision can just be two steps in front of you, two steps again, and then two steps again. And before you know it, you've created a life of steps, steps, steps that have in line with a vision or somewhere where you want to go or some things that you want to create in life. So that's what we mean by story, guys, and being aware of the story that you're telling yourself, being aware of the story that you're buying into. You know, is it true or is it rubbish? Because some people buy into rubbish stories that are not true. You know, they believe they're true, but they're not true because other people have had the same circumstances that, that they have and worse, and they've still gone on to achieve magnificent things because they changed the story. They didn't buy into it. They realized and acknowledged what it was and then decided they're going to flip the script and change into a new story. So guys, I, today's post really is about acknowledging the story that you tell yourself. And it's okay if it's not the best story, but create a new one. Create a new story for yourself right now. Create a new story. If the, if the story isn't aligned with any vision or any goal, create a new story. And also create somewhere a target. Create somewhere where you want to go, whether it's small, whether it's just a little small target, but have something. Don't just go through life, going through, go through life and, you know, getting through the day. Get from the day. Have something that you're going to get from, whether it be a small goal, big goal, doesn't matter, weekly, daily, hour, it doesn't matter. Just have something, man. <laughs> have something and then make your story, be aware of your story and make and see if it's aligned with that. So today, guys. If, you, if you've listened to this, I hope you enjoyed it. But before, you, before I go out, what I'd like you to do is just put one word that's going to describe the story that you're living now, the story you want to create, or you're going to create, more so I say, the story you're living now, or the story you're going to create, that, that one word that describes that story. For me, my word is magnificent. That's the story that I create today. And I'm creating in my life magnificent that's the one word that describes my story don't get me wrong the stories obviously is the things you tell yourself the things you see the things you hear everything that you in the meanings that you give to things that's the, your story however you could, if you wanted to sum it up in one word what would your word be my word would be magnificent i'd love be interesting to hear what your word would be but guys be aware of your story if it's not serving you change it make it a magnificent one that serves you so guys i hope you enjoyed it it's me uh, Charles, Plan Level Coaching, doing my Simple Monday Reflections. Uh, like I say, this life we're living is amazing. This world, this life we're living is amazing. You're amazing. So guys, have a blessed day and stay blessed.
and uh, peace.